Hey guys, Tara here. Welcome back to the episode of Race Mania here on BMG Drive. This time back on the Road Atlanta circuit, but I do have another track in mind that I have. I just haven't properly tested it yet, so maybe the next video or the one after should be on a different track, so we're not stuck with Road Atlanta forever. Anyway, at the front is the car that needs to win this round, the Bitrin. We're just going to have a tough job since the car in second place is a Bolide, the 320, I think this thing is, just the regular version. And in third, we have the return of another sunburst. This time, the Snowzilla version, like a like a uh, winter-like snow off-road rally version. Then in fourth, we have the SBR, and then at the back, which somehow managed to survive the last round, which I still have no idea how it did. The uh, DS Outlaw rally spec version with little nose grabber thing, which hopefully doesn't somehow end up catching the uh, front bumper, the rear bumper even, of the SBR this time. But also say. I haven't had time to uh, do a test run of this round, like I, I did a quick run with the cars to get their top speeds and that's when I know where to put them, but I don't exactly know how they go under AI control, so this could either go brilliantly right or uh, horribly wrong. You know, I I would prefer perfectly right, but whichever way ends up being entertaining, that's the uh, most important thing. So this is just a guess at the gaps between the cars to start with, but you know that makes no difference because you're going to hit each other in about 5 seconds time anyway. The bitching gets a good start of the, uh, well, the, uh, I know, that's what I thought would happen. The, uh, the bowline isn't the quickest thing off the line, okay, everything has, uh, now found each other, at least. Let's see now, in this first run I've done with these cars, how they all interact, okay, the, uh, sunburst is already getting sent round. It's going to completely come past the sunburst. That's so obviously going to go hard into the wall, is it? It looks like it's going to turn away from the wall. No, straight in the wheels, okay, you don't want to smash up your wheels, okay, that's the spoilers survive that, at least. And then it's like, okay, the uh, rear bumper of the SBR also needs to go, because I figured this would happen. It wouldn't take too long for the rear bumper of this car to get completely destroyed, so let's just remove that from existence before it causes too much damage. So it already got itself wrapped in. The wheels need to get hold of that then, so uh, it doesn't wrap itself in between the wheels. So if we, I found a way if we just hold it and then pull back and let the car's momentum just remove it. That usually ends up working okay. And that's that. Well, that was a nice view under the floor as well. But everything now should be going okay. The uh, Bitrin isn't leaving the second place car for dead, which he did last time when it was the ETK here in second place. It's quite in the dent already in the back of the Bolide, because the Bolide is quite a square car. And, oh, that's going to go face first into the wall. It's steering away from the wall, so it's like it's going to get away with that, I would think, as the sunburst is going the complete wrong direction. Like I said, I have no idea what, what to expect from these AI. And as ever, they're proving that they're doing completely the exact opposite of whatever I want them to do. That's a really long way on that J-turn. I will say, with this car, I have changed the engine, because stock, it came with an inline 4, which blew up after about going anything above 30 mile an hour. So I put the 3 litre V6 engine in, and that gives it about 127 mile an hour top speed. Something like that, so yeah, this is not slow in a straight line. But now then, where's the bow line? Okay, the bow line's going in the right direction, which is the main thing. But now then, the bitron, which is fairly untouched, and you got a little dent in the red bumper, is the only imperfection with the car. It's been, as starts go, it's been one of the more tame starts in reality. Although you, the SBR would probably disagree with that statement. And somehow the Outlaws managed to actually survive all of its wheels so far, being the fastest car here, about 100. And actually, somewhere. I can't wait. Is that the Bitrin off the road again? I'm just saying, yeah, the Bitrin's off the road. How has it done that? I didn't even see that before. But the Bitrin's just thrown away the lead. The car that needs to win has completely missed the corner. And now then, I don't know where it's going. Are you going to go in the right direction, Bitrin? You get on the road, yeah, you're turning the right way. But I don't know what it's done there to completely mess up that badly. But it's given the lead, though, to the SBR. Although the uh, outlaw might have something to say about that, and now the bitrin finally does a nice J turn actually get itself going. And now then it's going to come under attack possibly from the sunburst, which is still going at some pretty decent speed given the wacky tuck on the wall. And now then this is the fight now for the lead, and whichever these two cars should the, either these two cars win, then that'll knock out the uh, the bitrin. And looks like this again some great camera views here with these two cars. Seeing pretty evenly mashing us with the Owl just managing to use a really good unit as poker to its advantage, really. I mean, I left it on there because it needs something to uh, protect its front wheels, at least. And having the uh, front uh, the front wing on there just can completely chew up the tyres of the car in front of it, so... It's just, it's just pretty much... It's like the SBR is just wide enough that it fits in between, you see there. It's just wide enough to get in between the wheels. 
of the outlaw. As the bitch, wait what? The bitch was going the right direction. One, how has he got lost? Two, how has the sunburst not hit it? I mean, if there's ever a way that a car would not get through into the next round that you need to win, this is almost as bad as the, uh, oh, okay, that was a horrible joke. And the brakes on this do nothing. The brakes really do nothing on this car. But yeah, this is almost as bad as the Mustang. That's not going to get turned. That's just costing it now even more time. But at this rate, it wasn't really getting through to the next round area. It needs an absolute miracle now if it's to actually uh, progress any further. I mean, I gave you that one round chance because it was my fault they didn't get through. Or one to got through about two, three rounds ago, I think it was. So you gave it the chance we had to win what was the last round, which it did, which is why it's in this round. Then back up the fight for the lead. These two might even come up to lap the bitron if it keeps going backwards and in the wrong direction. Now that's going the right way now. It's going at some okay speeds, and that's not going at 66 mile an hour. I'm pretty sure about that though. The uh, pop up headlights. It's still got one left at least. At least that's something on the uh, the bolide and then do those front lights still work on the uh, on the sunburst yes they do kind of not very bright but they don't need to be because we're in bright sunshine anyway but now back up the fight for the lead which has probably been one of the uh, more uneventful fights really. i think the bolide is actually catching up because the uh, sbr is free to uh designate its pacing goes faster or slower so over it wants because it's in the lead and that's the the uh, position it needs to stay in the, the Outlaw, although he's literally right up behind it, hasn't actually managed to do anything about trying to make a move, trying to get past the, uh, actually lost a bit of pace there, so like, some good acceleration from the SBR, but the Outlaw top speed is with the Outlaw. And the Queen now into the corner, of course this is more of a rally car, it's going to be better in the braking, so it gives a little bit of a nudge because the nudge is just central, and with the, uh, the SBR being a fairly strong car, that's not going to do any, any damage, you end, end up, might, might end up doing damage to the front of the outlet more than you'll do damage to the back of the SBR unless it takes out the fuel tank. I have no idea what the fuel tank must be in the back of this car. Although it has it got itself stuck now. I thought it got stuck there on the wheel for a second, but it just clipped the exhaust. Now then the Bitrin's only making its way now into the start of the S's section. Whereas the Bolite's making its way around the final corner, which I'm sure is catching. And we now have a, a rear bumperless. Okay, where did the rear bumper come off of this car? Probably something maybe something to do with why the Bitrin's going the wrong way, but What's going the wrong? Okay, there's a rear bumper of some sort. I think that's the one there from the SBR. And it's actually pulling away though from the DS, from the Outlaw down the straight. Because, well, with its straight line of speed, with its acceleration, well, being not too much different in the straight line of speed between these two cars. It's okay, you see as the straight goes on though, this is where the Outlaw catches back up. And this has probably been the most uneventful round for these two cars that I would ever think they'll possibly ever see. And now, midway through the S section now is the Bitron. But it's way behind catching up to uh, Snowzilla, which is coming now into the second to last corner. And then the bolide, see that's still catching up. I mean, down the straight, it's not going to be catching because it's only the second fastest car in terms of our straight on speed. But if these two can keep get together and start battling again, they might as well say right now into the braking zone. How much later is the Outlaw going to be on the brakes than the SBR? Not too much later, so these cars are still very evenly matched. And having a much cleaner round than uh, what the two of them managed to drive it. In the last time, so even now through the corners, he can carry much more cornering speed though, the Outlaw. And that's once again, it's just hit, hit here on the wheel. Okay, there goes one of the other uh, rear lights. Not that he needs the rear lights anyway. Because that's not going to make any difference. Car should give it a bit of a weight advantage now, it could be a weight reduction there. Although it's still got one line inside, so the Outlaw's still going to know roughly when the car's breaking. So if that was a trying to hit him to try and shed parts, then it doesn't look like it's going to work out too well in that situation. And then the bolide is fallen, as well as I thought it would, has fallen away down that straight. Now back up to the flight now for the lead. This is literally the closest two of them have been, because I think they are actually now stuck together, are they? I'm not too sure. I think they may be stuck together, or no, I think they're just literally this close together. Because of how uh, just the close these two cars are in general. And then it's just shoving each other along now, coming to the next braking zone, this will pretty much determine if the two cars are stuck together or not, because I don't think they are. Well, looking at it from that perspective, it looks like they may well actually be, yes, they are stuck together. Are they? I can't actually tell. You know, the SBR's now got a puncture, no, they're not stuck together. It'd be really dragging on the floor, though, it takes a little bit out wide. And how has this not punctured the uh, Outlaw's tyres? I mean, it's got, the uh, SBR's got a puncture. And now then it is actually just sh just shoving it along now at this point. The bolide is catching up as well. So uh, I think the way to solve this situation is the way that I used a few videos ago. 
is just to take control of the outlaw, slam on the brakes, and hope that separates the two cars. Which it hasn't, and actually it's sending them off course. Okay, that's the extent it round. It sent the uh, the car in front round the SBR, but then again, oh well. But now then, is the uh, SBR going to get recovered from that? What's the outlaw going to do? It's going to slam into the side of it, and it's just been gifted a lead by me. But then again, and these things happen. Okay, it's going completely off the grass. It's fleet. That looks very over dramatic. Now then, is he going to get back going in the right direction? It's going to lose second place, surely, to the bowler, unless he gets back on the road and goes in the right direction, which it looks like it is. And now then, the bowline. It has a chance now, it has a sniff at second place, but I think the uh, SBR is just going to pull away again from it. Now then, where's the bitchin? Okay, it's off the road again, why am I not surprised? And uh, it's, uh, has he got a heavy break or something where it just doesn't stop? Either way though, the Outlaw is coming through this section and this thing's still got all of its car still attached to it, I think. It looks a little bit buckled. But then again, nothing that's too undrivable because the AI is still going at some pretty rapid speed with it. It's still going at 60 mile an hour. So the car which is for an AI speed is actually pretty good. The temperatures and that all look fine as well, so definitely no worries about this car surely making it through the final few corners. As it comes out into the final few sections now of the lap. And then, second place is still the SBR. Has he just got one puncture or has he got two? Because that, that rear of the car does not look happy. Some other spoilers suffice, but yeah. It's only got one puncture, so maybe if you had two, then that might give the might give the bowline an opportunity to catch. Although it is still catching, because even though the bowline on paper is a slower car to start the round, having all four tyres still inflated should give it some kind of advantage at least. Although, even with a puncture, the uh, rapid acceleration of that SBR out of the corner there is still something uh, something really unbeatable with the cars in this round anyway. And then around the second to last corner, the Outlaw's not having any issues around there. And a car which I didn't think would actually survive the previous round from the start of it, even before they got into it. And now they're making its way around the final corner now is the DH Outlaw, which is going to take victory surely now. It's only got a little bit further left to go. Now coming now up to the end now over the finish line and it is going to be the Outlaw that takes victory and knocks out the Bitron. Although the Bitron in effect really knocked itself out. Now how far is this thing going to go to try and keep itself out of harm's way? Looks like it's going to go fairly far but I don't think anything's going to be challenging that really. But now then, in second place is still the SBR so it's managed to hold on just about to take place where it's scraping the exhaust all the way along the floor. And then you get the other rear light now hanging off as well. Now coming over to the right in second place it's a good result. Well, things considered for the SBR. I mean, it's through to the next round because it hasn't actually won a race yet. So, I'm sure he wanted to take the win in this round. Is it, is it going to give the uh, the outlaw a little bit of a ram? No, like it's going to stop soon. And where's the uh, the bowline? That's looking around the final corner as well. Now then, third place for the bowline. Pretty good recovery drive and wasn't too far off the lead as well. And that's also through into the next round. Let's put that now on stopping. See if this has anything to say about the cars in front of it. It's going to do heavy braking now, it's going to make contact? No, it's not. It's going to stay uh, fairly tame as well. And next up to cross the line will be the uh, this Rally Sunburst. Now, after this, this thing was going the wrong way at the start, so I don't know how it lost its rear bumper. It must have been some kind of contact with the Bitrin to make the Bitrin end up going in the wrong direction, because the Bitrin actually isn't too far behind Snowzilla, so I think with another lap, the Bitrin would have caught up. Actually, if it hadn't gone off on the grass and that, it should have caught up, I think. So either way, it would have been out of the next round at least. At least it wouldn't though wouldn't have been in last place. See though how much it's catching, so the Bitrin's in near perfect condition as well, so it's gonna be a lot faster than what it is, and we've seen how the AI of that of the Bitrin just goes into complete overdrive. And um, make coming up now to the final corner now is the Sunburst, and if it can just survive the final corner. Maybe throwing test around the Bitrin is catching up. It's so close. One more lap, and I think the Bitrin surely, surely should have got past the uh, the Sunburst. But Sunburst, if there any money, it's consistency that counts over the outright pace. And then coming around the final corner now, the Bitrin isn't close enough to do anything about it. And the Sunburst is going to cross the line in P4. Coming out at 60 mile an hour. I get a feeling this thing isn't going to stop before it clatters into the back of the bowline. It's going to have your braking. It's going to turn itself to the side to actually get itself out, out of the way. And then let's get on board here with the Bitrin, which is now coming over. Finish line is somewhere it's going to slam itself into the wall. But now, the Bitrin with its terrible brakes, is this thing going to have any uh, last lap contact with any of the cars in front of it? It's going really quite fast into the bowline. Is it going to give it a little nudge? Yes, just a little tap. No harm, no foul from that. 
Either way, the outlaw was the car that went the furthest, and the uh, sunburst actually went out of its way to not make contact, so fair play from the uh, the sunburst. Everything has been a fairly clean round, given that's a, a rarity usually with uh, this series. And let's line up the SPR now, the uh, sparking away. Imagine if this thing had a fuel leak as well, was, this would literally just set it on fire. And then the, uh, the outlaw, which is the car that won, so that's... That's the car under pressure for the next round. The bitch, unfortunately. Still at good pace, but just the AI's under braking or whatever it did just uh, didn't use its uh, good pace to its advantage. And then finally, the bowline, which is held up rather well. It's had a little dent on the front. This thing looks pretty much showroom fresh, really, if you take out that, that hit on the wall. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos, remember to check out my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, they'll be linked down in the description below. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.